So, you think your martial art is effective? Do you think you can hold your own? Do all you MMA guys think that you can defeat a traditional style or vice versa? Okay then, prove it. Today we're talking about Battle of the Martial Arts, a new tournament with an old soul and big rewards. The founders are with us today and they're taking us back to old school before tournaments became glorified tag. With a roster of martial arts legends, a substantial grand prize, and early buzz that's rocking the competitive boats, this is where you'll want to be, I guarantee it. Well, this event was started at a baby shower, believe it or not. A good friend of mine for 30 years, who's my trainer and he was a professional bodybuilder, is part of the NPC. He introduced me to a gentleman named Tim Gardner, who's the chairman of the state of Florida for the NPC. Tim and I were talking about karate and he goes, you're passionate. And I said, yes, I fought, you know, full contact, light contact to get through college. He said, I have an idea. I would like to put everything under one roof, pickleball, bodybuilding, professional wrestling. He said, do you want to help me do it? And I said, I'll be glad to. So I, I approached Alex and Alex said, yeah, I'll be glad to since he's my sensei. So a couple of things that are going to be different from our tournament is we want to bring the martial part of martial arts back into the tournament. Nowadays, they don't start on time. Everything's by volunteers only. So nothing's run professionally. So when we say it starts at nine, it's gonna start at nine. All the judges are gonna be paid. So they're not volunteering. So we're gonna have employees working. The rules are gonna be uh, different than what is now. And the reward money, the grand prize, we're gonna be giving out a lot of money thanks to our sponsors and backers, Builders Insurance and Innovative Insurance. Again, and this is one of the differences between our tournament and other tournaments is our tournament is there as an event for people to watch. It's not necessarily a, hey, come compete and get out of here and leave because it's being held at the expo. So we want people to stick around, which is why we're going to have the division starting at the times that they're supposed to start and run for the times that they're supposed to run. So our goal is Saturday to have all the underbelts competing and they'll do all six of their divisions on Saturday and then black belts will be competing on Sunday. And then all the grand prizes will be Sunday night. It changed a lot of these karate tournaments. I fought many years ago. These guys didn't get paid much money. You train four, five years, hard years to get your black belt, fight every night, train, spar. I lived, eat, breathe karate. It didn't pay a lot of money. They were making a lot of money, but the paid fighters were. If you look at tournaments now, they're more like a game of tag. Martial arts now, we've been babying the competitors. You know, excessive gear, not enough contact. Martial arts has no martial part about it. So we're trying to bring that back with the tournament to go, look, this is a martial sport. Like you should have the ability to hit somebody without hurting them, but it should look like you're hitting them, not like you're trying to get a mosquito off their head. So the tournament is open to all ages and all styles. So everybody's welcome. Um, obviously, I think jujitsu is going to be out because they don't really do stand up. But, you know, if there's any jiu-jitsu guys out there that do like to stand up and fight and think they can win, they're absolutely welcome as well. We're keeping it simple. There's six categories that people can participate in. We have regular forms or traditional forms. And then you have creative musical or extreme forms. Those are going to be the CMX division. Then you have the same thing with weapons where we have the traditional weapons, then the CMX weapons, and then we have both the point sparring and the continuous sparring. Battle of the Martial Arts is bringing competition back to the old school rules, back when fighters were respected and when the legends emerged. It's open style, so it doesn't matter if you're karate, Muay Thai, Kempo, boxing, Kung Fu, MMA. If you can stand, then you can fight. We want to bring back the old school rules where we grew up fighting, you know, but with gear. Obviously, it, again, safety is our concern. We don't want anyone to get hurt. We're not there to see who hits the hardest. In my opinion, a black belt is someone who has the ability to hurt someone, but the control not to. And that's what's missing in the tournaments nowadays. It's everyone's really fast and they're all really good at tagging the other person, but there's no power behind what they're doing. There's no technique. It's, you know, flaring your arm out, getting it there first, and you get a point. Our rules are we're going back to old school. You're allowed to sweep the person, take them to the ground. You're allowed to hit them while they're on the ground. They're allowed to hit you while they're on the ground. You're allowed to grab them and hit them. Uh, it's not whoever gets there first, it's whoever hits with the effective shot first. So if he gets tapped on the top of the head and then he reverse punches me in the rib, he's gonna get the point even though I touched him first. And again, we do wanna make it clear that this is all gonna be control. So that this is not a bloodbath. We're not trying to see who can hit the hardest. This is control. Black Bills will be disqualified for excessive force. We're not trying to get anybody hurt. 
but we do want to see technique. You got to show that you know what you're doing. We're hoping and by the amount of people that we're going to have judging that we don't have the an instructor judging their own students. We should have enough people where that doesn't happen. So there's no bias. As far as the forms, we're looking for balance, power, you know, the, the flow of the form, the, the way you carry yourself. So not necessarily, you know, if he's doing my style or not doing my style. If there is a dispute at the event, we are going to have arbitrators as well that will be walking around and then they will have the final say as to whether a rule stands or not stands. All right, so some of you might want to get down to the brass tacks and talk about the grand prize. Yeah, and two things about this number. One, it's not a cumulative. It's not just a combination of all the grand prizes put together. And two, more than one person might walk away with this amount. So the grand prize is going to be awarded to the adult black belts division only. Uh, we have three different grand prizes, basically. The forms is going to be getting 5,000 for the overall grand prize winner. The weapons is going to be getting 5,000 to the overall winner. Then we're going to have a competition between the form and the weapon for another 5,000. There's going to be $15,000 for the grand prize winner for the forms and weapons category, basically. And then for sparring, yeah, it's the same thing. There's going to be 15,000 to the grand prize winner for males and 15,000 for females. So we're giving over $45,000 in grand prizes. Now in each individual category, the first place is going to take $100, second place takes 75, and I believe third place takes 25 or 50. So one male and one female fighter will walk away with $15,000 each. The Kata Division and Weapons Skills Division winners each get $5,000 and they'll compete against each other for an additional $5,000. Now for those of you trying to work out the math, the person who wins that showdown walks away with ten grand, Unless of course, the same person wins Kata and the Weapons Division, well then they get the whole $15,000. Now imagine this. You win all your katas, and you also happen to be the fighting champion? <laughs> well then. This is also a significant reunion of some of the biggest martial arts legends that most of us grew up with. So, who can you expect to meet? Three times world champion, Ted Pryor. We have James Sisko coming. We have Bill Superfoot coming. Cynthia Rothbard. Sith yeah. Daryl Vidal, uh, Chris Casamasa, Benny the Jet. Crawford Grimsley. Will Don the Dragon's gonna be here. Ted uh, Pryor lives right next door to The Rock in Hawaii and he's talking to him. We're actually working on Chuck Norris, but he might not be able to make it because of the flight uh, times. Um, so he actually might be doing a video sponsoring the event, just not gonna be physically here. In the last seven years, I lost a lot of good friends that helped train me over the years from Steve Shepard, Tony Palmore. I'm losing all my good friends who I used to com compete with that used to help me train that fought professional. And that's why everybody's excited to get everybody under one roof at least one last time. Yeah, this is gonna be a once in a lifetime event. We're hoping the whole event is a success again with the Fit and Plus Expo. Uh, thanks to Tim Gardner, I, I know it's gonna be huge. So this is something that we're already talking about doing yearly. I have friends in Singapore that reached out to me. So I mean, they know about it. So the word yeah. is getting around. Actually, one of the things that we're thinking we might run into is we might have to put a cap on the registration because we only have one day to run the event for the underbelts and the black belts. So there might be a time limit that people might want to register quicker than later. But this event is about so much more than just the money. It's about appreciating the paths that were paved before us and also planting the seeds for new legends to emerge. So again, our goal, or I would say our mission statement is to revolutionize how tournaments are being done now. We want to bring back the martial part into the martial arts tournaments. We want the competitors to be rewarded for their efforts. We also want to reward the teachers who take their time to coach students and come to the tournament. So every, every student that you bring in, you get 10% back and then whoever has the most students will get the $1,500 in addition to their 10% for bringing in the students. I would like to see if we can do something with this tournament that we can have the other tournaments bring up to our standards. It, it's about finding the best fighter. I would like to see another Chuck Norris. I'd love to see another Jed out there, Benny the Jed. I would love to see another Bill Superfoot Wallace. And that's what I'm hoping to see at this tournament with all the variety of fighters. Is there such a thing? 
Yeah, so don't forget to check out the website. It's got all the information you need where to register. It's got all the rules. It's got the hotels that are near the event that where you can register. We want to have a good environment so that everybody's welcome. And yes, find who the best of the best is, right? This is the battle of the martial arts. Every artist welcome so they can come prove that they're better than everyone else. Check out the website in the description below for more information on rules, registration, and accommodations. We'll be at the event too, and who knows, I may just step out onto the mat myself. We'll see. So come on out, meet everybody, have a great time. And for all of you competitors out there, let's see if you can put your money where your mouth guard is. And if you're still doubtful, let's talk about why point sparring is something that everybody should be doing. 